Back once again on Free Code Cam doing JavaScript algos and data structures. We're in the ES6 course on challenge 18 of 29. So today we're going to use class syntax to define a constructor function. Awesome. So we're getting into classes. So ES6 provides new syntax to create objects using the class keyword. Okay. So in ES5, uh, objects can be created by defining a constructor function and then using the new keyword to instantiate the object. In ES6, the class declaration has a constructor method that is invoked with the new keyword. If the constructor method is not explicitly defined, then it is implicitly defined with no arguments. Okay, so look at this example here. We can see class space shuttle has explicit construction where we take in target planet and then it has a this dot target planet property uh, to be target planet. And then it has a takeoff method that just says to whatever this target planet is, exclamation mark. Okay. A rocket has an implicit construction where we do not define the constructor, but we are defining the, a launch method. Okay. So then when we're using these actual class objects, when we're using the, the space shuttle, we can say, okay, Zeus equals a new space shuttle and it's going to Jupiter. And then Zeus dot takeoff, and that'll say okay to Jupiter in console. Atlas is a new rocket, and it prints to the moon when we call launch. So there's no implicit or explicit constructor. So thusly, I don't know if it even has any this dot whatever properties because it's not being defined. So I would argue that it probably doesn't have any this dot target planet, or in this case, like this dot, you know. Yeah, this dot target planet, right? Because it's not explicitly defined and it's still a rocket, it's still a spaceship. So that looks like the main difference is that the rocket is not defined explicitly. Okay. It should be noted that the class keyword declares a new function to which the constructor is added. The constructor is invoked when new is called to create a new object. Note upper camel case should be used by convention with ES6 class names as in space shuttle capital s capital s used above the constructor method is a special method for creating and initializing an object created with a class you'll learn more about object oriented programming section in javascript algorithms and data structure certification okay cool use the class keyword and write a constructor to create a vegetables class the vegetable class should allow you to create a vegetable with the property name that gets passed to the constructor. Okay, so essentially what it wants us to do is create this explicitly defined object. So we need to create a class of vegetable and it needs to have a this.name property the same way this space shuttle has a this.target planet property, right? So the spaceship or the space shuttle takes in the target planet as an argument and then assigns it to be its target planet property. So we're going to do that same thing with the carrot uh, dot name or vegetable dot name. Okay. And we are going to explicitly construct it, not implicitly. Okay. So we are going to create the constructor. It looks like so for vegetable, if we console log carrot dot name. Okay. So new vegetable, there is no such thing as a vegetable, hence vegetable not defined. So that's what it wants us to create. Okay. So we can use this explicit construction as a template almost. So let's create a class for vegetable, vegetable, okay? And classes do not have the objects, or I'm sorry, the parentheses for a function because it is just a class definition at this point. So we open it up and now we have to define the constructor function, okay? So now we have to say constructor, and this is a keyword, you have to call it constructor. And once again, we're gonna take in an argument whenever we create a new vegetable, right? So we're taking in this string as the argument when we create this new carrot vegetable. So we need to take in that argument. In this case, we're going to call it name because that's what it told us to do. So let's take in name. And then this constructor function opens up with curly braces the same way any other function would. Okay. So now this is where we define the structure of our object, right? So if a vegetable has a name, we could say this dot name equals whatever name we passed into it, right? So we're saying this dot name as in the vegetable has a name property and it's assigned to be whatever argument we pass in. So this is important to note that name here is, is this caret. This dot name is literally going to be a property 
on vegetable called name, right? So we're going to have to say carrot dot name to get this name here, right? That's why it highlights. And then when we actually console log carrot dot name, we'll get the value of this name, right? The actual value of carrot in a string, which is what's being passed here, right? Hence why when I highlight this name, it highlights this one because that's the value. And when I highlight this carrot dot name, it highlights this name because that's the actual property name, not the value. I hope that made sense. Okay, so cool. We have our constructor. It takes in whatever name is passed to it. So like new vegetable, pass that name. That's the name. So this dot name equals carrot. And that should be all we have to do for this one. Awesome. So if we wanted to, right, we could create a function within the within the class. So we could say like um, say name, and this could be a function that would then say console.log. I am a this dot name because with objects this is a self accessor. So when I say carrot equals new vegetable carrot, and then I say this dot name when I call this say name property on this vegetable, it's accessing this vegetable. So this one dot name, which is carrot, right? This instance of a vegetable is what we would say. So now, if for example, I say, say name, right? So I take carrot object and I say name, you can see I am a carrot because this is now a method of a vegetable and this carrot const is a vegetable. So it has a this.name property of carrot. And that's all we had to do for this one. I hope that made sense, guys. The last part here of adding this function, this was all just supplemental knowledge. You do not have to do that at all. You really just have to make the constructor that creates the vegetable object and then takes in the name, assigns this dot name to be whatever that name is. And then they already provided the code where we create the new vegetable, which is now valid. And as you can see, when we console log caret dot name, we get caret. Hope that helped. Hope to see you guys in the next challenge.